I would think that materialistic scientists would be more inclined to follow simulation theory than any other theory. But what, what I'm hearing from you is obviously that there's a pushback from them. But the reason why I say that is I feel that because we live in such an AI world and a data-driven world, you can show more, there would be more data to prove that we would live in a simulation theory. So as we get closer to that uh, singularity, that materialistic scientists would change their perspective on it. Well, I think that's true. So the ideas of simulation theory come out of philosophy and religion and science fiction right. in particular. Uh, and then they got adopted uh, in the techno-scientific world. So the techno part of the scientific techno-scientific world absolutely is what you're saying is true. Like Elon Musk, Sam Altman, all these guys are more likely to think we live in a simulation than in, in some other version. And, and in that version, they tend to go towards the NPC version of the simulation. So they tend to be very open to that. They tend not to be so open to the RPG version because that implies that there might actually be supernatural beings or beings outside. There might actually be a soul, and they hate that idea, like most materialist atheists. And so I've, I've actually gotten attacked as much from the, the atheist scientific side as from, say, maybe religious fundamentalists, uh, although the religious fundamentalists tend to like this idea better than uh, the materialist scientists. And the technologists are very open to this idea. Uh, they find it quite intriguing because they see what's happening with AI. They see how it's advancing and they can see, they can easily see how this whole world could be generated based on AI. I mean, there's a, there's a flavor of simulation theory that just came out this year called prompt theory. 